Oh my god, I think there's acting in here. Hey guys, this is my review for Supernatural Season 14, Episode 12. Whew, wow. Again? Decent episode. Like, not groundbreaking, admittedly. Um, it's not uh, a be-all end-all, but it's actually a decent episode with some slightly creative writing elements. This episode is about a secondary prophet. It reminds me, honestly, of Buffy and Faith from the Buffy television show when Buffy died. Uh, Faith was activated as a vampire slayer, so there was two of them. Um, and then this is basically the same thing. Donatello's kind of in a... he's a vegetable, sort of. So a secondary prophet is activated, and there's some pretty, actually, some good scenes with this guy in terms of just dark atmosphere. Like, the first person he kills, he puts him into a salt, or this girl into a salt bath, cuts her wrist, and then drowns her. It's, it's very well shot. Admittedly, the guy looks like a crackhead version of the porn star James Dean. It was a cool idea, and this character was interesting. Admittedly, it, it, the story part of it ends really quickly, but it continues on as a mystery, and how the episode is edited is really cool, because when they figure out it's Donatello, it's a pretty good edit, admittedly, and the relationship between Dean and Sam, again, we have seen this a billion times before, and the, the, <laughs> the whole confliction of him going in the box ends really quickly, because like I have said before, Andrew Dabb can't hold a storyline to save his life for more than three episodes. So what happens is Dean kind of comes a resolution that maybe they can try because him and Sam actually have a pretty good talk outside at the end of the episode. Sam decks him because he's like, this is stupid. You want to help other people. You didn't give up a non but you're giving up on us. Like, admittedly, again, we've heard this a million times before, but the acting was actually not too bad. It, it must have been great for Jared because Jared's had nothing for Sam for several seasons. So this was cool to see him really bring out some acting again, and I did enjoy it. I liked the aspect between him and Dean. The one thing that I wish that he had said, though, is at the end of the episode, he's like, we're going to try, but if it all fails, you're going to have to put me in that box. And I just wish Dean had said then, because I let you go into the cage. And that's it. Like, that would have really cemented that moment because that this is a parallel, basically, of what happened with Sam all those years ago when they went up against Lucifer back in Season 5. Speaking of Lucifer, though, they are still continuing the Nick storyline. I'm sorry, but this is such a bad story angle. The whole, like, breeze come back, Lucifer. I swear if he comes back. I'm gonna throw a fucking mug at the wall. Any one of you who says that he's gonna be, ooh, he's gonna be great to have back, he's been defeated four fucking times. The be all end all, the bringer of the apocalypse. I, I'm not gonna take him seriously for the fourth fucking time. I'm sorry if you like his witty banter and you like how he's a char he's an interesting character. No, he's not, not anymore. We lost it. We lost it a long time ago. So what's happening with Nick is he gets out of the easiest situation despite the fact that he's a multiple wanted statewide murderer who just so happens to have one of the worst cops watching him that part was stupid uh and then he goes back home and apparently his wife is there as a ghost and he's like are you losing her it's like the whole time I was just like no 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 because i swear to god if they bring that goddamn guy back i'm going to freak because it shouldn't just be brought back. But aside from that, this was the only bad part of this episode. This was the only very, very poorly written part because this story angle is bullshit. It is fucking terrible. If they do this, if they continue with this, and they actually do bring him back, this is just fucking awful. I am sorry, but this is terrible. But I'm gonna give the assumption that maybe they might not bring him back because they think, holy fuck, that would actually be really fucking stupid. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. Otherwise, the episode's actually pretty good. The brother dynamic's good. I like the mystery. I like kind of the idea of it and the relevance back to, uh, well, the indirect relevance back to season five as well as getting to see some actual character and some emotion from the two leads. So I'm gonna give this episode a five out of seven. I thought it was actually not too bad. Again, that side element is fucking awful, but as long as they don't fully commit to that, we'll see. But episode 13 is next, the 300th episode of Supernatural, and that means John Winchester's coming back. 
really interested to see how they're going to work that in. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Since we're in the month of February, we're counting down the days now to the release of Camp Death 3 in 2D. Doing a shout out for these guys once again. They let me watch the movie ahead of time, and I'm just doing a little shout out for them because it's a Canadian production. It was made out here, and their film comes out on Amazon Prime on February 16th. I'm going to leave a link for their Facebook page in the description below. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. See you guys next time.